creating a low cardboard relief mask inspired by the aesthetic qualities of African masks. First, choose a template to use as the foundation of your mask and cut out the shape. If you don't have a printer, create your own template by tracing household items. Be sure to cut your template on the fold to keep it symmetrical. Trace your template onto a piece of cardboard. Notice how I carefully bend the excess cardboard away from my mask foundation as I am cutting. Next, fold your template in half and trace it onto your mask foundation to establish symmetry. Then, use your folded template to begin creating additional template pieces. Here I am creating a template for the nose and eyebrow structure of my mask. And here I am tracing the template onto a new piece of cardboard. After I trace the template, I begin cutting. Notice how I change cutting directions instead of pivoting my scissors. This will help me from bending my cardboard pieces as I cut them. Try using existing cardboard folds to create structures that you want to stand out from your mask foundation. Here I am creating an additional triangular form for the nose. Use your foundation template to cut smaller templates. Here, I am creating an eye shape. To create the feeling of a peaceful closed eye, cut half ovals or half circles from your cardboard pieces. or create wide open eyes by cutting directly into your mask. Here I trace the eyebrow line to establish placement and cut the eye from the edge of my mask foundation. I trace the cut piece to create symmetry on the other side of the mask. I used a second mask foundation to create forehead, cheek, and mouth forms. I wanted to make sure my edges were matched and my cardboard pieces would fit on my mask.
Next, I extended the head of my mask by creating a symmetrical crown. Notice how I cut the points of the crown without pivoting my scissors. When cutting points in cardboard, it is best to cut across the grain of the cardboard. Cut out the outside shapes first, then cut inward from both sides of the point to create clean cuts. Craftsmanship is very important. Finally, it's time to glue. Here I use low melt hot glue. You can use white glue or tape to secure your pieces. If you don't have glue, temporarily stack your pieces and simply photograph your work. Don't forget to erase unwanted pencil lines before you present your finished mask. Please note that cardboard tubes work well for creating low three-dimensional features. And if you use a thinner cardboard for ease in cutting, you can create more depth by adding small pieces of corrugated cardboard between the layers of your mask. Please enjoy my finished mask inspired by African mask aesthetics. Now it is your turn to create your own mask. Thanks for watching.